Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got us a sherry bomb that came from six mm -hmm. different casks. Dalmore, King Alexander. I don't even know what to say. Let's test it. Test it! All right, Bruno. This is, this was my Christmas bottle last year. Yes, it was. So, I even forgot it was your Christmas bottle. This is actually a little display box. This opens up if you wanted to uh, put it on your bar and display it. That like all comes back and locks in. So locks in? Oh, there, it's got a little Lord. magnet in it. Well, so you can this. display Hold it on. on your shelf. Do, 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 do. We're going to spin it around. Actually, da, 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 da. this is that's what I was thinking. Dalmore King Alexander the Third. The Third. There we go. Alright, do. 40% ABV. This here Sherry Bomb has been in six different casks, believe it or not. It's too much. Ex bourbons. I think that's a given. Well, I thought maybe there would be like a, a Spanish Pedro Jimenez. Like a, how about a Methuselah Oloroso <laughs> Sherry? See, I couldn't even say that. <laughs> so I'm glad you did that. I'm glad you mentioned the Methuselah. Madeira barrels. Madeira is always wonderful. Marsala casks. Wow. Isn't that like a famous singer? Port pipes. That mm. sounds like tobacco. Love the port. Pipes are huge. And Cabernet Sauvignon. Ooh, I love when you just say Sauvignon. Actually, Barriques. Cabernet Sauvignon Barriques. Barriques. Pretty fancy dancy. What is this, the death of a stag? Uh, Do you read all the, all the marketing? All you the want me history? to? Should no, we go into that? No, we shouldn't. Because we're also later on going to talk about a little contest we're going to have. There's going to be a little contest. So not, this was not a contest, like a giveaway. Sorry, a giveaway. Just to show you our backlog, though, this was my Christmas bottle. Yes, I bought. Yes, and it's August. You held on to it for a while because I didn't yeah. first test it until uh, August sixth. That was well, you had. I, I gave it to you even before that. I think it sat for a bit because you just. Yeah, you don't, so that was just like a week or two ago. Right. <laughs> I got it in as the Dalmore King. That's all you have to know it as. Boom, the king, baby, the king. <clears throat> okay, now, I'm going to tell you, Christmas Day, I was disappointed. I thought I got robbed. Really? Yeah. Well, now you're interesting me, because, um, so it changed after no. it oxidized a little bit? I don't think that was it. It was when I, I finally got to sit down by myself in the silence. Not even on, you know, I had it on Christmas Day and it was good, but I was a little disappointed. I thought, eh, that's not really what I was expecting. Hmm. But then uh, it was a few weeks later, maybe a month later, I'm finally sitting around at nighttime. I was by myself. I thought, I'm going back to it. And I was like, wow. All right, that's what I was wanting. I think it was just too much going on Christmas Day. No. Too many distractions, too noisy. You're cooking, you're doing this and that. And you're I cooking. Enjoy it. Yeah, I'm not usually cooking. Yeah. We gotta talk about you cooking sometime. Not now. Now some other you can take the Hawaiian sweet rolls out of the out of the bag mm -hmm. and heat them up, right? Yeah. That's what you're doing. I, yeah, I get them out of the bag before they go in the oven. <laughs> I get that cardboard insert. And I get that out of there. That's part of the deal. And I'll and I put it on a little cookie sheet, and then yeah. uh, and then I'm cooking. I'm cooking with gas, baby. Gas. You like my uh, Bob Ross shirt? Love Bob Ross. You betcha. Let's paint the tree. Paint. I want to paint. Let's I paint like his tree. happy trees. The guys, once that hit PBS, if I was channel surfing back in the day, and that hit, his almost zen-like tone would hold me. Mm -hmm. And I'd be, next thing you know, a half hour's gone, and I'm just like, wow, how did he get that tree with snow on it? Okay, I'm going to break from our... <laughs> Go. Bart calls me, or he sends me a deal one day, listen... At the 15 minute mark of this YouTube video. I give you the time stamp, like start at 15.10. It, yeah. So you don't have to like find this little but tidbit. I want to know it. what's going on. I just want to listen to it and see what, what is being said. What, what's really the subject of conversation this here? Was another, so I know the, 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 it was the another context YouTube channel. of the subject. And I know you consider your personal time very, very expensive and... and like I'm precious. busy. I got a right. lot of stuff right. going. So I said, you hey, apparently don't. I do. 
But I multitask. You don't. I do. You're, I, I you fill yours with these podcasts and these YouTube videos. Well, look who I watched you're talking 15 to. minutes. Look who you're talking to. I watched to. 15 minutes of a YouTube video but that I was said, worthless. I, I literally said skip nothing. ahead to 15 points. I'm like, how do, you, how do you watch this stuff? He goes, I was eating breakfast. I go, yeah. you were fit for 15 minutes? Yeah. Nobody yeah. takes 15 you, minutes. You, to eat I breakfast. had bacon. Bacon was baking. <laughs> that alone took 25 minutes. I, I know where your time, his time, your banking. time is spent. Well, I knew podcasts at work. You're yeah. always walking around, earpiece in, yes. podcast. Boom. Talking. What? Huh? Oh, I'm listening yes. to something. Right. That's what led to this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I give him the time. I'm like, hey, check this out. You're so then he's on me for actually listening to the 15. Well, yeah. You listen, to, you listen to the 15, but I can't yeah, listen to I it. Yeah, I found the nugget that I knew he'd be interested in. I'm like, hey, just listen for one minute or watch. It was a YouTube show. Watch for one minute. Start at 15 colon 10. And, and then you're in. And what do I get? He calls me. You just wasted 16 minutes of my yeah, life. Exactly. I'm like, why didn't you skip to the part I told you to? How All in right. the world? We're, we're losing some viewers here. Sorry. Don't, don't hang up yet. Well, if you're a fan of his, you've already quit watching because you, you don't have time to be no, you got time for, for good stuff. It was good. Yeah. It's all subjective. Come on, you know some people watch our stuff and they're like, these guys are idiots. Yeah. Just tell me about the scotch. Like they want a two-minute review. Bam. Sherry, tasty, good, buy it or don't, do. That's see you what next, they want. See you next time. Bam, out. And then you drop the mic. 40, Dalmore King Alexander. The usual Dalmore 40%. Come on. Come I know, on, I know. Come Bring on. it up. Bring uh, it up. Can you imagine how beautiful this would be if it was oh, 48 Don't or even 50? Tease me. Of course, it'd be out of our price range. Ooh. On the nose, I get a marmalade jelly. And the marmalade strikes again. And a fresh spring air. Now, along Bottle with all that. the, I'll tell you, all the sherries that I was getting. That is um, good on the nose. I, I'm getting a heavy nuttiness here um, as well. A pipe tobacco. The port wine, and it really... The night that I sat down with this in the silence, the port wine jumped right out at me, and it hadn't done that before. Huh. Um, the Oloroso sherry. I got a plum. Yeah. A plum raisin. Rose petals. I don't know if I can say it was Oloroso sherry. I mean, clearly it's the sherry. Rose petals. Yeah. Goodness. I'm the one wearing the Bob Ross shirt. <laughs> you got like a Dodgers. You're supposed to say it's a spitball coming at you. Taking a little curve. Smells like smells like love leather. All right, going in. <laughs> He's going in. I love the Bob. Mm. Mm. Somebody told me Bob was like a drill sergeant in his younger days. Oh man, I hadn't even swallowed that, and I was, I, and I wasn't even doing your open mouth breathing technique, <laughs> and the sherry notes were already hitting. The red berries, mm. a rich wood, cinnamon, your plums. Hmm. What say you? I've got more. Dry oak. I do get a nice starburst of sweetness that I got here again. Um, a sweet flavor. Uh, it's kind of a sweetness that's right in the middle with a with a nutty finish to it. Um, wood and nut, like all the way around. Wood and nut all the way around. I gotta admit, I thought I was gonna get more of a sherry bomb. Wood nut, or like wood and nut? Wood slash nut, so that means mm. and. Right. All the way around. It's like this combination. Wood, wood, wood nut. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's right nut next wood. to, yeah, it's wood nut. That's a special, <laughs> it's right next to the, uh, mm. right next to the uh, Aspen. Mm, just delicious. Nutmeg. Orange peel. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Orange peel, I agree. I got a little bit of that citrusy orange peel. Mm. My main note here, and it's here again, is that it's the predominance is wood and nut everywhere. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Other than that sweetness in the middle. Got to admit, I was wanting more of that plumness in the middle. What I get on the nose... More than just the sherry coming out? Yes. What I get I think, on the nose, I do not get on the taste. 
And I think that's why I was disappointed with it the first day that I had it, because I was expecting just this sherry explosion. Yes. Right. And it's such a, a well-done mix of these six barrels. I mean, besides just the Matusalem Oloroso sherry, you've got the the Madeira barrels, the Marsala cast, the port pipes, and the Cabernet Sauvignon. I mean, there's more to it than just sherry. But it's delicious. All right. Now, see, this is the bottle where I can tell I'm playing in your end of the pool and it's deep. And I feel like we're no longer in the land of peat and I'm not sure how to even dog paddle. <laughs> okay? Because I get some of what you're talking about, but it kind of just floats by me. And I keep grasping my taste buds, keep grasping out and getting hints of the sherry. And my brain is screaming, more of that, more of that. I want more of the 12, the Dalmore 12. And then I just get a strongness of the wood. And that, that nutty flavor and that dry astringentness. And I'm left a little bit perplexed and confused. Hmm. Now, this is my weakness, though, I think. I think this is what you're talking about. Probably that feeling you had the first time you had it, I still got it. Mm. You then transitioned through that, and we're getting a lot more of the complexities. Mm -hmm. I don't feel I'm getting those. Mm. That's where I feel like a little bit of a novice with this bottle. Hmm. Well... And that just could be, it'd be the same if, you, if we were drinking something that was heavily peated. Mm -hmm. You would probably pick up on more stuff than I do. I'd be Maybe. like, I get the peat. Man, uh, mud. Or, right. <laughs> or I'm not as refined. I mean, let's be honest. The peat's usually, the kind of peat I like is a younger peat, a powerfulness, a strength, a punch. I definitely feel that this leads into a connoisseur's scotch. And uh, especially on, uh, well, it hits more than just the sherry note. So, yeah, this well, one left me a little bit. That's why, I think that's why I was disappointed because I really expected that Oloroso sherry. You know, everybody talks about this being mm -hmm. a sherry bomb and how much sherry there is. But it's all that other stuff that's coming in there with it. And that, that Oloroso sherry really isn't on the forefront. It's not right. the one that's punching you. Right. Um, which one is? Not you a know, criticism. The criticism, I think, is on me. It's just not hitting sure. my palate mm. the, um, in a way that is pleasurable to me. But I do feel that I'm probably missing those subtleties. I think your palate's way more trained for this at this point. I don't know. This one, uh, I was with you. When you started telling me how it let you down at first, I didn't know that. Because we don't really talk these mm -hmm. bottles until we get on air. So I was surprised when you were saying that because I figured you were going to be yelling at me. I got a score on here you probably not going to like. <laughs> and I had some confusion with this bottle. And I got to admit, when I first sipped it, I just was like, huh. Somehow I thought it was going to be kind of like what we did with the Glendronic when we did the Dronic 12 and the Glendronic mm -hmm. 15. And it was just like, this one's great. And then bam, it was even more. I expected the Dalmore 12 and then this to do the same. But this is a different animal. Mm. Different animal. I'll sip this all night long. And I gave it an 85, so I'll let you sip it. I know. I know. That's just me. I know. I, I, I'm telling you, I think I'm missing something. 85. For me, it's an 85. <laughs> For me, it's an 85. I, I mean, it's just, I wouldn't go to this ever. I mean, this is just not in my wheelhouse. Right. That's why I said, I know I'm in your area. I've never felt stronger than that this is on a complexity level that I don't necessarily enjoy. I don't know. Mm. Mm. The sherry and the port and the leather and the pipe tobacco. I love mm. leather. Mm. Good. I mean, it's the nutty finish. Nuttiness to it. The I like nutty it. finish kind of wrecks it for me because mm. I'm with you. I get that burst in the middle and I want to hold on to it and then it just dances away and I'm left 
jilted on the dance floor. <laughs> like, like I was having a good time, we were dancing, and then boom, you're gone. And I'm with some nutty dude that wants to, tw not even twirl me, wants yeah. to just like talk. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. So is it worth it? I know what you're going to say. Well, what did you pay for? $205. God, no for me. But I mean, it would be, this would be the, this is the bottle where I'm like, it's lost on me. I mean, I know it's there. I mean, I can get some things, but it's just lost on me. Hmm. And I'm wondering, you like cigars, I don't. I almost feel like this is like the cigars that you talk about, and I'm like, I don't get it. Hmm. And I've talked to a lot of Scotch fans that love cigars, and it's, they're, they're lost on me the exact same way I feel this is. Hmm. I don't know, it's the only way I encapsulate it. So why don't you tell me more? I don't think it's worth it for that much. How much? Oh, absolutely. Two, say $200. I think a little. Well, it was two oh five. How old? Are they? Well, you can't really. I don't know if they even say. They don't, because they no. got so many different things in there. I believe it's worth it. Now, as I was sitting here thinking, though, if that's on. You're wanting something for a special occasion, and that's on the shelf next to Balvini 21 Year Portwood. Um. It, uh, to me, the both delicious, both outstanding. The the twenty one year portwood is well done as well. And it just depends if you want something with a little sherry in it. That's very well done. The Dalmore, you know, if you want a well done whiskey with just the port, the Balvini twenty one year, same price range. Hmm. So, but yeah, I think it's worth it. Uh, what I, could I buy it every day? No. Well, it's your special. Is it a special occasion bottle? Absolutely. Right. Because you've established Christmas. Births, deaths, mm -hmm. that's about it. Maybe retirement. Promotions. Promotions, retirements. Mm -hmm. Very good. Are you ready for... Let's do it. We're going to do Pull a giveaway. Yeah, we're going to do a giveaway. Let's make some room here. So some of you know, we did a, uh, an episode where, uh, where we received some media packages. This is the Calm... Calm before the storm, from the storm. And this is a media package. All right. I'm going to show you what this is because this is the Devilon. And the whiskey, and I'm going to take some stills of this. The whiskey's been consumed. We can't give away the whiskey. We can't ship it. So the bottle's empty. But it's this really cool, and I won't pull it out again. I'll do some still shots. It's this real cool sea foam. But in this tome, they call these tomes, is a Glencairn that's got the, the Deverone etched symbol on it, which is a beautiful, lovely Glencairn. It's got a compass that actually slides out with a media package. It's a USB, USB thumb drive. drive that's going to give you all the media information. So you've got this book thing, and then you've got the coolest thing. And this is the hard part about giving this away, I admit. I don't wear watches. But it's got a little secret compartment and this beautiful watch, this Deveron watch. Mm -hmm. What else do you want to say? We're going to be giving this you away. Said you took a long time saying it, but you finally got it out. Yes. So this is going to be a giveaway that we're doing. It. We're paying this forward. Yes, we reviewed the alcohol. Yes, we can't send you the alcohol, but we can send you the kit with all this stuff you in it. You buy your own bottle of Deveron, put it in there, and you got the complete set. So, Bruno, tell them what they got to do. Um, go to scotchtestdummies.com, click on contact, and there's a little fill-in-the-blank uh, box in there uh, with your name and subject and message. Send us a message. Uh, with. Including your user, your YouTube username. Because you have to subscribe to our channel and then go to our www.scotchtestdummies.com and then fill in the email portion there. Mm -hmm. Again, don't forget to add in your YouTube username because we've got to verify that you are a subscriber as well in order for you to win this. Yep. And then we'll end up doing a drawing of all those that put in. We're going to run this for a month. A drawing or a drawing? Some people say drawing. I think that's uh, fully pronounced. You could also say drawing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll reach into a little thing and pull out a deal. Um, so, please do that. Subscribe. Go to our uh, scotchtestdummies.com. Hit the contact deal. And I have a chance to win this beautiful tome. Looks just like this huge mage book with the Glencairn 
the compass, the empty bottle for display purposes. I'm sure, it'll be, that cool I'm watch. sure it's a pretty good collector's uh, I think item so. because there's very few of them. Right. There are very few of these that went out. And there'll be very few in complete, yeah. minus the bottle. And i got to admit, we kind of like it. I mean, yes. uh, I like it. But at the same time, um, I think we got to pay it forward. And I do like the watch. The watch was a little hard. I was like, well... Raisins. Raisins? Yes, in the downward. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing extra. All right. We're going to feature this uh, throughout the next videos for the for the month for a month so you're going to see this more through september the deadline is october 1st we will have the drawing on october 1st of 2016. Right. yep and then we'll put uh we'll probably put out the winner on twitter and how else will we put it out? well we'll contact, we'll contact you him. we'll contact yeah. whoever the winner is or her mm -hmm. we'll contact you directly after the drawing and we'll mention yeah. it on twitter and we'll cool. mention you in a, or whatever yeah, you bring next it up on the video. Show, as long as you're so. willing. As long as you're willing. Yeah. Who knows? It might be worth a lot of money and you don't want your name out there. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll be like, how much is it worth? <laughs> that watch is from where? Oh, my God. What did we give away? All right. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies.